Let's do a skincare routine and I'll tell you how I ended up in the States and have my family and everything here. Juicy. Oh, it's cold. I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Hydra Energetic again. It all started when one of my friends back home came out here to play soccer and I thought, oh, maybe I could play soccer too. So I applied for a soccer scholarship at a bunch of schools. I studied computer science and I met my wife the second year of college. So we've been dating now for um, 2012, 12 years. It's felt more like 40. Just kidding. Because my wife watches this, so honey, I love you. We never say honey. In fact, we actively don't say honey. <laughs> Dude, uh, don't you bark, you bad girl. Now things actually get interesting when it came to like green card and being able to live here. So I came over here on a student visa and then you get a year after that to work for a company in your field. So for me, that was IT. Long story out of that, then I had to go home, I had to apply for a fiance visa. I do that. That then allowed me back into the States to be able to actually get married. And then the whole waiting on the green card process, that took 11 months where I legally could not work in this country, legally. But thankfully I'd saved up enough money to be able to survive. Man, it's zinging. I know you guys have got some border issues going on in this country, some immigration issues. The whole system's broken. But I am a believer in legal immigration as much as it sucks. Clean this off. Warm water this time. Honestly, there are so many ins and outs to this story. I could talk for three hours. But like, as far as I understand, once you get married, you get a 10 year green card visa. That's what I'm on now. Oh gosh, I'm already seven years in. I make the joke to people that my wife is my green card. Like I refer to her as my green card. People seem like horrified and shocked. Like I call her far worse things and she calls me far worse things. And that's just the dynamic of our relationship. Like there are lots of things where from the outside, you'd think the couple is super mean to each other and horrible and rude, but it's actually just the understanding that two people have. So when you see a podcast clip of two people and you're like, wow, they're so mean to each other. There's a lot you don't know about their relationship. Boy, I feel fresh. <laughs> so now we have two kids, a Labradoodle Duda, and a lovely house here in Kansas City. We have goals of moving to a house. It doesn't matter how big it is, but a house with a bit more land so we have more freedom to do the things we want to. And I think as you get older, you start to want to move away from people. Nothing wrong with our neighbors, our neighbors are amazing, but it's just nice to have your own space. But I think the hardest part is that you're not close to family. I don't have time for a proper shave, so a quick little trim. And that's actually been one of my main reasons to quit a corporate America job and to become a creator, which I've been working on for like eight years now. And I did quit my job back in November it's a glorious feeling. And my wife's a stay at home mom, which she loves. That's been her goal too. So really enjoying life. This is the Panasonic multi-shape, not an ad, but I think it's amazing. I also equally love the Philips one blade. Just want to trim up the pubes a bit and then leave the hairs for my wife to clean up. I'm kidding. She makes far more of a mess when she shaves her mustache.